Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a little full face of milk makeup for oily skin. So I'm just gonna put my contacts in, eat some cereal. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you like this video. I'm gonna do a little lip scrub. I got this from Petite Vior. Um, it's not actually a lip scrub. I don't recommend it using. I don't recommend using this as a face scrub, but um, it worked out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on the Milk Makeup Kush lip gloss, and I don't know how I feel about it. I don't love it. I don't hate it. Whatever. Just kind of. I just kind of have it. You know. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it but it does leave a nice little shine and make my lips moisturized. So I'm having a hard time getting out this primer. I'm putting on the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I like to pat it in on my skin um, where it tends to be more dehydrated. I kind of avoid my T-zone as much as possible because that gets oily. So then I'm gonna put my Milk makeup sunshine skin tint all over my face and i'm using the darkest shade um unfortunately they don't have any darker colors this does tend to look a little bit light at first but it will blend in and you'll see that really quickly so just blend that in with my real techniques face with my real techniques expert face brush And I'm not doing the trick where you add, like, you know, any mattifying products or setting powder underneath. I just want to see how this brand actually wears on my skin throughout the day. I have been wearing Milk Makeup a lot lately. I've just been gravitating towards it versus my other products lately. Um, not even intentionally, it's just I really like milk makeup for everyday practical use, if that makes any sense. What is your guys' current favorite makeup foundation or makeup brand? Let me know in the comments below. So now I'm taking the foundation shade um i think it's the darkest foundation shade and i'm using it to contour my face um the reason why i use this as a contour is because i didn't feel like their bronzing stick was dark enough for me um to contour my face but i will be using the bronzer as well in a second so I'm just doing the whole like three motion around my face. I like to also contour the sides of my head and brow slash eye region because <clears throat> I like when my face looks a little bit more long and thin. I do want to purchase this foundation stick um, for my actual skin tone but I am really loving it as a contour at the moment and then I didn't want to blend I didn't want to cut out too much of these clips where I'm blending in my makeup because I don't know when I'm watching a YouTube video I want to see how well the products blend because that's the whole point of watching a youtube video for me to kind of get an idea of how the product will wear on me and how i can apply it so you may be like what the heck faith what are you doing you're putting makeup on your ears <laughs> i do this because my ears are so light for some reason and it just looks so awkward <laughs> when i don't put foundation on my ears do you guys do the same thing let me know <laughs> So now I'm putting on the bronzer and I'm using the blush brush by Real Techniques. I do notice a very subtle 
difference on and off camera using this bronzer but it's not worth purchasing if you need the basics first i'm gonna go ahead and take the blush stick the lip and cheek stick by milk makeup and use the same brush to apply that all over my cheeks and tip of my nose and sides of my forehead I do really love this product. It's not um, as pigmented as if you were to use like a cream, but it still is really, really beautiful. And I wanted to see how this would look on my lips. I've never applied it to my lips before. I don't necessarily love it on me. So I'm gonna kind of create my own lip concoction sort of look <laughs> later on in the video. So I'm taking the new product by Kosas, um, the new concealer, and I will leave the shades in the description below, but um, a little bit goes a long way, so you really want to make sure you don't over apply this product, which is why I'm doing very light strokes and light um, taps on my face, just to make sure I'm not going too heavy with the product. So I'm just gonna blend that in, blend, 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 blend. I don't have the Milk Makeup Concealer. Do they even have a concealer? I'm not sure if they have one, I think they do. But yeah, um, I just I will just have to post a review of Milk Makeup later on as I purchase more products. I just wanted to use what I currently have and share it with you guys. So yeah, let me know what you think so far. So I hope that's okay with you guys. <laughs> and then we're just blending, blending, blending. And it looks very natural. And, and dewy. I'm also gonna kind of use this concealer to contour my face a bit. I'm gonna highlight my the sides of my jaw. And then just blend that end. blend 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 and then I'm also taking the contour brush to make sure um, I still have some contour over top now I'm gonna be you know putting on some lip color and prepping my eyelashes and putting on the Kush mascara by Milk Makeup um, I love this mascara a lot I will say when I first um, got it I was way more in love with it than I am now I've had it for about maybe five months and it just dries up a lot more, so I can only apply maybe like one to three coats of mascara, um, and I can't let it dry if I'm going to be applying multiple coats. Um, it really does lengthen and volumize. It kind of almost looks like I have falsies on after applying it, but I don't, so that's awesome. Getting some vitamin C. <laughs> so yeah, and I also don't recommend pairing this mascara with any other mascaras. Um, because it just tends to clump a lot um, but when it's new and fresh it doesn't clump it's a little disclaimer so now I'm just kind of setting my face with setting powder um, I'm using the beauty bakery setting powder at the moment because it's all I have and I want to get rid of it um, just use it up before I move on to some that are more known to be that have a better reputation. I really do like the Beauty Bakery setting powder, but it's better for baking. Um, you can see in this photo here, I baked my face so well 
and the photo just looked so good i looked great in person it was just beautiful but i want to move on to like cleaner products i tried the hourglass foundation i mean not foundation setting powder and i absolutely love that one but i still haven't found a setting powder that is better than the laura mercy a setting powder So, I do want to try the Ilia setting powder and the Wowder by Glossier and some other setting powders. Let me know what setting powder would you guys recommend. So look at how the blush is just really looking so nice on my skin. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows a little bit. I like to keep them pretty thin. I know it's not a popular method or style of brows right now, but I just feel like it makes me look a little bit more put together and elevated versus like thicker brows. I love thicker brows too, but I don't know. I like I really prefer thin brows on myself. So now I'm just contouring my nose again a little bit with the foundation stick and this is how it's looking so far. I'm really happy. I'm going to come back and show you guys how it looks after about five to six hours, but this is how this looked um, right after application. I'm going to take another eating break. <laughs> And, oh wait, I'm adding some eyeliner. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little tiny wing and make sure that the eyeliner goes all the way around my um, inner, what do you call them, water line. And I'm not gonna bore you with this routine, so I skipped ahead. So this is how it looks after about five to six hours. It looks very dewy and I love the finish of it. Let me know, what do you guys think? Some people think that this is a little bit too oily looking. If you like this video, please like this video and please subscribe if you wanna see more. Okay, thank you guys, bye.